Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Hunter and it's so lovely to meet you. In today's video, I'm showing you guys my vintage camera collection, which is massive. If you have not seen that video, I posted a video about this time last year with pictures, not pictures, what am I doing? I'm talking about cameras, that's why I said pictures. With my vintage camera collection and that collection had six cameras in it. And today I have 17. So my collection has grown exponentially and so I wanted to show you guys all of the vintage cameras that I have because that video did really well. So I thought you guys would be interested in seeing an updated collection and I'm super excited. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below and let's go ahead and get started. So we don't know what the newest camera out of all of these is, but this one feels like the newest. It's a digital camera, so I'm gonna assume this is the newest one. It is a Canon Rebel XTI and it is just this and for you camera people that can't stand the fact that this is covered literally i don't even have a battery for this i don't have a lens for it it doesn't work i it's just a camera that sits as display now so don't come at me for this okay um but it's just a digital camera i think it's from 2006 i think it shot in like 12 megapixels so one of the og digital cameras from canon i guess um, I, I would say this was probably a beginner camera because this body looks very similar in size and shape to the current Canon like T7i I think is the number that it is now but the I the T something series um, so there's this one this is number one next is this one it is the Kodak extra light 10 camera oh i guess i should tell you guys how i got these my dad gave me this one he found it whenever he was moving or clearing cleaning stuff out and asking if i wanted it so i took it next is this one is the kodak extra light 10 and i believe this is from the 70s i don't know how it works but um i don't think that they produce film for it anymore i know what it looks like but you just snap a picture like this and i obviously have never used it because i don't think that film is produced for it anymore but it's a cute little thing to have sitting around. Um, and I got this for 99 cents from Goodwill. Next is this one and is a Vivitar Easy 35. And this one actually has film in it. So I'm gonna take a picture of me filming and I can't wait to develop this film. Um, this is one that I actually use. This is just a 35 millimeter film camera. I don't know, I think it's from like the late 90s and I don't know, it's in good shape. I got it for $5 from a vintage store next is the canon rebel 2000 and it's in the eos line it has the lens on it which is kind of cool um it just takes it just needs a battery and it's 35 millimeter film i have never tried to use this before but it actually has a roll of film in it which i did not know so i might try to actually um develop that and see what happens uh because i did not know that was in there until just now but it pops open this is probably ruining it while i open it but there it is so that's fun um yeah this one is probably from the late 90s early 2000s um because like it, it's similar in the body style to this one but it is just a little bit different because obviously it doesn't have the mirror or anything in it like a digital camera does but i my dad also gave me the, actually no i think mason might have found this somewhere and he gave it to me so i don't know how much this one got next i have a couple of polaroids and when i say a couple i mean a frick ton of polaroids so first i do not know how old this is i don't know what kind of film it takes i think it might be eye type oh i don't know how it works because this is what the inside looks like um but this one is a polaroid land camera swinger model 20 um and i just think that the way that it's white looks really cool this button on the back is blue and then this is red and then i just think that the colors on this look really awesome because not a lot of them have this and then it has the handle strap um i think this is a cool one i think this is how you take the pictures and then you can like adjust the color uh right here with this little nozzle thing so you can do like distance for flash and stuff which i think is really awesome because i think that the flash is right here and then it just does the whole reflecting thing i don't know i don't know how old this is i don't know what year it's from but here it is so also i have this one for sale on my etsy shop so if you guys are interested in this camera then i will leave a link to this down below the rest of the polaroids so this one is a polaroid one step something or other and i think my dad gave me this one um again it was kind of a thing that he found whenever he was moving uh, this one has a pack of film in it i think i don't want to take a picture and it not be anything hold on it has a cartridge in it i'm confused oh it's an empty cartridge that's why i'm gonna put it back in there but there's this one just your standard polaroid and they sell film for this and so that's good i guess next is this one and it is a 
Also, Polaroid one step. I think these may be the exact same camera. One of these has film in it. I just don't know which one it is. The, not this one. Um, but this is pretty much the exact same as the other one. I got one of these from Goodwill for like $3, but I don't know which one it was. And then there's this one, which is the Spirit 600, which is my baby. And I use this one all the time. So I don't keep this one on display because this is one that was like actually a gift. Also doesn't have film in it. Did we use all the film in that last cartridge? I think that may have been what it was. Never mind. But this is um, a Polaroid Spirit 600. And Mason gave me this for Christmas one year. So that's really exciting. So I've got three almost identical Polaroids. Oh, and then there's also this one, which is the Polaroid Captiva SL S SLR, and it pops open like this, and that's how you take the pictures. And we used to have this one on display, but we got some cooler cameras, so we switched it out, but they don't make film for this anymore either. It's eye type film, I think. No, it's not eye, it's, hold on, 95 film. It says it right there, but I think that's super cool. So there's that, and then you can like, open this up to put the, the film in right there so and then i'm guessing this is where the photo prints to and then you take it out right there so i've never tried this before but i want to see if i can find some 95 film 95 film that was all the polaroids so now we'll get into the older cameras um this one is a canon a1 and this one is my child as well i got this one for christmas one year for my parents fun story someone just gave this to my mom when she mentioned that i wanted a camera like this so she literally only this has only had one user i think that's really really cool and i have used this and developed film from it and it also has film in it right now so let me focus it So that's fun. Next is a Minolta and it is kind of almost the same, but it's like the same, the body looks very similar, but they're not the same brand, but they look super, super similar. This is a Minolta X700 and this was Mason's and since we got married, what's his is mine, right? Anyway, um, his does not have any film in it, but I don't think anyway. No, it doesn't, but he took um, a photography class at school and so this was the camera that he used when he was there, so. Um, now we have this in our collection. And then we also have this baby is the Konica. Hold on, I gotta take the case off of it. I don't know. Oh, Konica Auto S. And this one is also for sale on my Etsy shop. So if you guys wanna shop it, it's here. I don't know if it works, although I'm sure if you put film in it, it will work. Uh, it's a little hazy right here, looking in the viewfinder, but like, I don't see why it wouldn't work because it definitely is like making weird colors. Like things are showing up like color, all the little buttons move. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave that link down below. Next is this one, which is so cool. We got this one from a antique store and it is an Argus something, flash finder maybe. It came with the manual, I just don't know where it is. Um, but this one is just so cool. It's huge, boxy, bulky, heavy, and incredible. Apparently this is the primary camera that they used mostly during World War II. So that means that this is from like the 40s, which is really cool. I've never tried to put film in it, but again, I'm sure this would work. This one is not for sale, unfortunately, because we purchased this one full price. Um, but I'm sure you could put some in and it would work, um, but we've never tried it. But this one just looks very beautiful sitting on our um, bookshelf. Next is this one and it is a Flexora like eight millimeter is that what it's called eight millimeter like video camera so you know the ones where you like take the lens off and you like look down like this i think that's super cool i don't know where this one came from i don't know how much it costs but i'm not mad about it because look at how cool this looks next is this one this is actually a polaroid but i forgot about this one being a polaroid because it looks so much different than the others but basically you fold this down and then you flip the top up and it's a case so you can carry it around like this and then when you're ready to use it you can just open it up and then it just opens up like this and you shoot like this this would be really really hectic i think to try to shoot with i think it works because i can hear the timer inside of it moving stop okay um i don't know how to put film in it i've never been able to figure out how to get it to open but i mean it's cool awesome and this one is on display in our house but i think this one is for sale as well so i'll link as many links as i can down below so if you guys are interested in the cameras then you can check them out but this one is just really cool if i can figure out how to get it to do its job 
And then we have two more and these are the oldest ones and honestly, I think they're the coolest ones we have. So first we have this one. Look at how awesome this looks. This is the trigger. This is how you take pictures. Do you hear it shuddering? Like that's crazy. It's a Royal Ready Set. Um, and then it like, I don't want to close it because I don't want to break it because this is super fragile, but it closes up and then you fold this flap under and then it just goes away. But then you look to like see the picture, you look into this part, like you look down and then you hit the button so like I can see my camera right now. Picture that way and it's super cool and it has this little kickstand so that way like when you want to set it down on a table it doesn't fall forward. Um, and then it also has this spot where you can, I think this is for film. I don't know how this works, honestly. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research into how it works, but I know that it takes film somewhere because I see hinges. I just, I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to break it. Um, but also this is from, I think maybe 1925, somewhere around there. That's what the guy at the store told me, but I got this from an antique store in Myrtle Beach. And last but not least, is this one and you're thinking hunter this doesn't look like a camera it is a antique kodak brownie camera model b number 2a so it's from 1916 and this one's super old and this is another one of those things where you look into here and here's the lenses or here's the lens these are the lenses okay um i don't know how this works either i don't know where the shutter button is i don't know how you take a picture um i don't know how any of it works but it's so old that i don't want to break it um and mess anything up so i thought i was gonna get to open it but it won't go any further than this so i'm just gonna push it back in and put the little things on and call it a day we got this one from a local store that is called the main collective um and they're like an etsy in real life but this is what it looks like on the front so anyway that was the entire camera collection um i know i sped through these really really quickly and that's all i have for today's video so if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye